Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell G317 gaming laptop and in this video I'm going to take you over how to speed up the laptop because they do come with an SSD hard drive and a mechanical hard drive or you can upgrade the hard drive on this one, make it a little faster. And the hard drive that they give you, an M.2 hard drive that it is in there, it's an uh, SATA M.2 hard drive. You can replace it with an NVMe M.2, which is much faster, and these are really compatible with that. So in this video, we're going to cover that. And also, remember, once you replace the hard drives, you will not have any operating system installed in the new drive. So you have to back up your files on an external hard drive or buy yourself an enclosure for M.2 SSD so you can convert your old M.2 SSD, SSD to a external storage. That's another beneficial thing. And even the same thing for uh, mechanical hard drives. If you want to replace your mechanical hard drive or upgrade, you can buy an enclosure. You can put your mechanical hard drive and take advantage of using it as an external storage. And to install the Windows is really simple. I made a video on how to install Windows from your USB drive. You can download it. It's free. You can download the image on the USB drive. It doesn't take not even 10 minutes. And I made another video how to install it on a Dell laptop. Check those links on my video description if you want to know how to create Windows boot drive and how to install them. All right. In this video, I'm just going to open it up and show you how to upgrade them from the solid state to a better solid state and mechanical to a solid state drive. All right, with all those set, now we're going to power off the laptop completely. We're going to flip it upside down and on the bottom case here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. Now, there are, all the screws are the same size and height, except two screws that are at the back mid here. These screws, they have a C-lock on them. That means there's a little tiny metal at the back on the screw that holds it in place that doesn't let the screw comes out come out entirely so pretty much this screw they have to get loosened up only you can't just pull them out but first we're gonna remove all the screws all around for the opening tool i'm gonna be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there we're gonna be using a phillips number one and if you get the pro set of the iFixit screwdriver set I'll leave the link in my video description. It does come with an opening tools, tweezers, and all the tools that you're going to be needing. But if you don't want to get the Pro set, at least get the screwdriver set. And for the opening tool, I would recommend you guys to grab the uh, guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers and uh, cases. These ones are really soft edges, so it's really hard to scratch plastics or anything like that. All right. So we're going to start from one corner and we're going to remove all the screws, even the two in the middle, and we're going to leave the one back middle. Also, if you guys like my content and if my content helped you guys out and you want to support the channel, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it and it motivates me to make more videos and take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I really appreciate your support. All right, once we remove all the screws, we have it right here. We're going to continue removing this screw on screwing them. And you should hear two clicks. Like those clicks. And once you hear those clicks, just stop right there. Same thing here. Now all you need to do is to grab your opening tool, in this case the guitar pick. We're going to open up the laptop a little bit. And we're going to stick the opening tool of the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that about one or two millimeters and we're going to twist it backward and we're going to hit tiny clicks those are the clips that are getting loose work yourself all around in the front end to the corner go to the side to the corner back left and the right side right here too on that left side too see if i can get it right there This is 17 inch screen, so it's kind of big. So I did the front and the side, and the cover pretty much coming out. So I lift up the cover, bring it up, wiggle it around a little bit, and it should get loose. So there's the C locks that I was talking about, is on the screw right there. There's two of them. All right, once you remove the bottom cover, then you can see the hole inside. Right away, we can see the mechanical hard drive right here, and the SSD hard drive right on the other side. 
this SSD hard drive is an M.2 SATA hard drive, but the M.2 jack it is supportable, compatible with a is a PCI Express, which is an NVMe compatible. And now people always tell me remove the battery to do these things. You don't need to remove the battery at all. There's no power right in here right now. So you can safely upgrade the RAM, upgrade the SSD or mechanical drive without removing the battery. For those people that have a trust issue and they're paranoid, you can just simply lift up this tape and pull back the jack right here. And it will pull it evenly back and it will disconnect the connector for the battery. But I'm just going to put it back down in, straight in, and pull it towards the jack. Right there. And then tape it down. Now, to remove the SSD M.2 SSD, all you need to do is to remove one screw at the back of it. That's tiny screw. And now the SSD will come out in 45 degree angle right there. Next, all you need to do is to pull it towards the front end of the laptop, just like that. This is an M.2 SATA because it has a two cut right on it. But when you get the NVMe hard drives, the NVMe hard drives will have only one cut right on the top. There's a pin count you can do it, but easy to distinguish by the cut on the right. So this is a crucial uh, 500 gig. So you just want to bring it down in 45 or 10 degrees and then push it towards the jack all the way in and bring it down and put the screw right on top. So I'm pulling it out, but this is my SSD. I'm just for a demo showing. So bring this one, imagine this is your new hard drive. This is a 120 gig, which is really small. Bring it down all the way there. Make sure the screw hole matches and put the screw right on top. All right, to remove the mechanical hard drive. Remember the hard drive is being held down by a caddy. A caddy is a metal object that holds the hard drive in place. So it doesn't move around. The caddy has a four screws, one, two on the back side, one in here and one in here. This is screw that I'm looking at from the side. It, it, they put it in sideways, so the manufacturer they didn't even do a good job putting it in. So we're gonna remove these four screws. One, two. The four screws they're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching those. Now, once we remove this one, before we remove it, we're gonna disconnect the flex cable. To disconnect the flex cable is kind of tricky, people keep damaging them, so I'm going to go over in detail on those. To remove the flex cable, all you need to put your finger right in here and lift it up 90 degrees, like that. You open up the lock. You don't want to pull straight this jack because there's a little earlobe to it. You want to bring it up in 45 degrees and then pull it out because of the earlobes on the sides of the connector flex cable. Now again, I'm going to show you in a minute how to put it back together. Alright, so now all you need to do, grab the hard drive from the back end, bring it up. So this is a Seagate one terabyte hard drive. You can gently remove this flex cable. It has a little, don't bend it too much because it's a flex cable, you don't want to keep bending them. Disconnect the adapter from the hard drive just by pulling it up. Don't pull on the cable. So this adapter you will need. Now, you want to grab your mechanical hard drive. I recommend you guys go with a Crucial or Samsung. Do not go with any other brand as they are really cheap, pre-made, and you can, they don't last much long. Or you can grab another hard drive or bigger 2 terabyte hard drive. So all you need to do, make sure the orientation for the pins match. So you don't want to put it the other way around. And all you need to do is to remove two screws in here and two screws on the other side. Remove the metal bracket. Bring it, put it on top, and put the screws right on top, and then put the adapter right on top. This can be a solid state drive, or it can be a bigger hard drive, mechanical drive. So, and imagine that you put an SSD here, or another two terabyte hard drive, put the adapter in, adapter only goes in one way. Push it right in there. Bring it down, align it on the top of the screw holes, right in there. This hard drive has to be a low profile. Any hard SSD, SSDs are low profile. So if you want to get any mechanical drive, it has to be a low profile. Low, by low profile, I mean this one. This one is a little thick profile. So yours has to be the uh, low profile. Otherwise, you will not uh, sit down in here. All right, once you put this uh, the caddy in there, first go ahead and put the screws for the caddy. 
All right, to put the flex cable in, make sure the lock is in an open position. So if it's like that, bring it and open it up. We're gonna put this one in in 45 degree angle. We're not gonna put it straight down, slide it in. We're gonna bring it down like a landing on a plane. Bring it down in 45 all the way towards the inside the jack. We're gonna run so it goes all the way. Make sure the ear loops goes in and then pull it towards the motherboard and hold it there and then lock it down. So the air loss will prevent it from sliding out straight. All right, once you've done this one here, you put that one in there. Now all you need to do is plug in the battery if you have disconnected the battery. And also remember, once you disconnect the battery, you power on, the laptop will take about five to 15 seconds to boot up. Because once you remove the battery, it does reset the BIOS. Sometimes if your BIOS battery is dead, the BIOS battery is in here. But if your BIOS battery didn't reset, you still have some juice in here, so it should boot up right away. But you need to install your Windows if you have upgraded the hard drive. And the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover. Make sure you put the HDMI cable and jack, all those these ports down in first. So scoop it down in 45 degree angle. Bring them from the side, scoop it in, and then let go of this other end. And then you want to squeeze the corner, the front end. Make sure if you click. Uh, I haven't scooped nicely in there, so there we go. Now there we have some clicks. Now we're not gonna press on the back end because these the screws are they have a seal lock on them, so we're gonna screw them down and the screw will pull the cover to itself. Once you screw them nicely, now you can help it up by pressing gently on the between them and you will hear a click for the clips. Now we're gonna open up the laptop a little bit and you're gonna see a little gaps opening here. You just wanna pinch them together and go work yourself on the side, on the corners. Once you did all those pinching, now you can turn it upside down again and slap down the screws that you remove on the bottom screw, bottom cover. Again, if you guys have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, if you guys want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. For those people that are like always like, why don't you turn on the laptop after you do this upgrade? Uh, for those people that they have a trust issue, I'm just going to turn it on quickly. So you guys can, can see that it turns on. And I'm not just joking around or screwing with you guys. There we go. So let's go turn it on. I see the backlight on the keyboard. And there is the logo for the uh, Dell laptop. All right. And it's going to take some time to get to the Windows. Uh, because the SSD on this one is kind of slow. We have to format it. I see the that one spinning balls right in here. So within a few seconds, it should go inside the windows as let's give it a few seconds let's see if it goes that's why i'm saying like an upgrade to nvme it will be much much faster and there we have it all right and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching